Uh, we got an oven. Hello guys, Recon Burrito here, and today we're going to be uh, checking out this pretty, pretty interesting new Unturned update. Uh, it's, it's, um, kind of OP in the fact that it's going to be trolly. Very trolly. Uh, they have added turrets. Uh, and let's just say... It's not gonna be pretty. Okay, so this uh I've set this up here. This is a specked out honey badger attached to the sentry. Now you need a generator for this to work, but as you can see it's in uh it's in it's it's looking for things to shoot. Now I will not shoot people in a group or people who uh, have their hands raised in, uh, in sort of, in the surrender sort of position, pose. So, it will continue to do this, uh, it will look at people suspiciously in the surrender pose, uh, and you can sneak up behind it, but I don't see that, honestly, it's literally 360 when it's rotating. But yeah, like it's focusing over that way, but it can also focus behind it. Now let's uh, get into the car and see uh, how good it is against mowing down zombies. Now I chose a hatchback because it has this nice little spot for the generator and you can put the sentry up there and you can pretty much cover this thing up. So let's see this locking on soon. gonna lock on yeah there we go yeah it just locks on just like kidding me this thing's OP it's like you can just do like a drive-by and just mow down different players which makes this kind of OP so like why why Nelson why would you add this I mean, me and my friend. Oh yeah, this thing can literally take out a, me a mega zombie. Oh, let's get these guys off our backs. Yeah, so like, me and my friend were literally joking about about this. Uh, yesterday. So yeah, see, it's 360 degrees. So yeah, we were joking about how like how OP it would be if they had a, if they added a uh, sentry. Yeah, see, it just took out that freaking mega mega zombie without much trouble. At the mine, it drops. Ooh, good stuff. So, like, we literally just have this freaking here while we check. Ooh, we got a Playmore, we got Mil we got Gilly Bottom, we got Halos, a Hollow Sight, we got a Fragmentation Grenade, we got a Landmine. It's just like. It's like, come on, Nelson. This is, this is a bit OP. Okay, the next part of the update involves this item called the Oxygenator. Now what this does is, I assumed at first it would provide oxygen when they're the underwater, allowing uh, you to build underwater with like infinite oxygen, and it'd like create an air bubble, and it'd be like you'd, and it would be like you would be on land, sort of like on land bases, so where you could breathe and there would be no water inside the base. Well, if we go down here into this invisible base. Which is kind of the good thing about going underwater. We can see that there's a structure appearing in the haze. Now, I built this structure. It's got. A, it's self sustaining right now, so it's got a fuel reserve and it's got a generator. So let's start up this industrial generator. Let's get inside. So it's still water. Still water. We're losing oxygen. But if we turn on the oxygenator, boom, our oxygen literally just goes up. So if we, like, so this is kind of an OP base plan, because if you build underwater and have an oxygenator, nobody's gonna find you. 
I mean, and you have infinite oxygen as long as you have power. And if you have an industrial in a industrial generator, you're gonna be pretty much uh, safe for a while. And if you're like right now where I am, right next to a gas station, where you can just pop up, get some gas, come back down. It's just like, come on! You can literally spend all day down here. And if you have water-based weapons, it's just like, man, water-based. So yeah, this. You don't. You really can just have both doors open. I mean, I was thinking it'd sort of be like an airlock sort of thing, so that's why I built this. But you can even go outside, like, like you can get over here, get some, put some stuff in here, and you're good. It's like you're already set forever with the oxygenator. No, like let's go above water and see if we can get us. You can't even hear the industrial generator. What if you're right over ahead of it? So you can hear it now. We rise. Oh my gosh. Overpowered as crap. The water freaking like covers the sound. And you can only see this base like with a clever glint that you see. Or if you're right on top of it. Otherwise, this thing is completely invisible. So come on, man. Nelson. 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 This is kind of OP. I mean, seriously. So in the new update, we have this new item called a cot, which is much better than a bedroom. I mean, look at how nice this thing looks. I mean, there's nothing that looks nicer than this in the game. Well, a lot of things look nicer, like this APC looks very, very snazzy, but bed-wise, this is the best looking bed you're going to get, and I assume it has more health than the normal bed room, so it's probably going to take a bit more to destroy it, which is good. Uh, okay, so if you're wondering what this thing is, there is a sort of fun thing you can do. So. You get the free forms, and you attach them to the APC, and you can build like a galleon or something, some galleon look looking thing. And you have literally a wooden, sh a wooden a pirate ship or something that you can base on. It's pretty cool. Uh, the only way people can destroy stuff if is is if they get underneath the APC and get in it, and then they can pop back out on top and board your ship. But that can be avoided if you put free forms underneath it. Okay, the next item on our list is the libraries that Nelson added in. Now there's different the different types. We got the birch, we got the maple, and we got the pine, and then we got the freaking metal. Now, uh, of course they are like that according to their health size. So the metal's hard to take down and stuff. So if you're wondering. Hey, Recon Burrito, why did I, Nelson add in these random uh, uh, aesthetic bookshelves that have no purpose? Well, if we hover over them, they say use. Now, if we use them, these are XP storage. So, with the bookshelves, you can use. You can transfer your XP. So, like, if you're in a firefight, you just store your XP in here. It's safe, it's not going anywhere. You respawn, get some XP, get some sharpshooter on and mow down the guys that are outside your base so this is pretty handy You've got the uh, capacity how much coal available just your xp transaction withdraw or uh deposit and we got amounts we got tax and we got net uh yeah it's like a little bank in unturned pretty interesting uh, I have to say. Okay, and so Nelson added these pretty nice aesthetics. So we have different the different levels of structural integrity cabinets, which just store stuff in a 3x5 grid for the lower ones. Actually, no, this one's 3x4, this one's 3x5, this one's 3x6, and I guess this one's 3x7. And we got the sinks, so 3x4, 3x5, 3x6, and 3x7. 
So we got just different nice cabinet looking things. So like th these will be something that you're in a pretty protected base and you want some nice looking storage things and you, you can make these. Some nice cabinets and sinks. Uh, then we got a refrigerator, which can, is 6x4. Uh, I'm guessing this will keep your food warm or cold so it won't decay in health for normal survival. Uh, we got an oven. Okay, so then we have this uh, sort of campfire sort of thing, except it's a oven that requires power. Which is weird. And we got a nice lamp. You can turn it off or on. So, it's pretty nice. And we got a couch. Yeah. So let's... Let's, let's get in this. Let's get, let's, get, let's get in this nice couch. Let's rest. Uh, let's... Yeah. Just a nice, nice couch. So, yeah. That has been this update. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later. See ya.